Today we're going to talk about the basic drills and movement, the biomechanical movements of Nordic skiing. And it has to do with both classic skiing and skate skiing. I break it down into four basic movements and one uh, static body position. Um, in skiing, the body position that you want to achieve is a forward body position with forward shin angle, a slight C shape to the back and leaning forward with a little bit of ankle flexion and knee flexion and weight primi primarily on the balls of your, of your feet so that the hips are either above or in front of, of uh, your weight bearing feet. And it will look like this. And this position is an athletic position that is basically ready. Your center of gravity is forward, it's over your feet or in front of your feet and you're ready to react. It's an aggressive position and yet it's also relaxed. And whether you're a skier, um, a tennis player waiting to take serve, a linebacker waiting to tackle, this is a position that is basic to almost all active sport. So that's the number one thing, is body position forward. Whether it's classic skiing and striding, or whether it's skate skiing and V2. The four movements have to do with our arms and legs and our core. Um, starting from the top down, the first movement is arm swing. And in all these movements, what's common is range of motion. And theoretically, to ski the fastest, we want to have a full range of motion. So in arms, whether it's single stick striding, or whether it's double pull for uh, classic, or double pull for V2, range of motion is the bicep is forward, elbows, bicep is forward, elbows up, and the bicep is parallel with the plane of the ground. In back, we want to ideally is a full release um, where the arm is extended. And if you're holding a pole and you have full range of motion, the pole and the arm will be one continuous line back. We won't always achieve that because either fitness or terrain will dictate that and sometimes our follow through will not be full and full extension but may end up you know, as high as here, down to the hips or ideally fully back. So that's arm swing, that's our first uh, biomechanical motion and again ideally you've heard high hands, high elbows. If we go full range of motion, 90 degrees at the elbow, all that will be achieved. Second one is core activation. Our biggest muscle mass in our body is our core, and core basically goes from the shoulders or neck down to the waist. And whether we're single sticking, V2ing, or double pulling, it is our largest muscle mass for power application. And so when we pull, when we double pull, when we single stick, or uh, V2, or V1, pardon me, um, we always want to core activate in the first motion. So when we plant the poles, their next motion is the core activation and the arms are synchronized with that movement. Third motion is leg swing. This is very true, especially in classic striding, is that we want dynamic and full leg swing. Again, the quadricep can come up, drive forward, and full extension and back after the kick. These motions um, are great warm-ups for any workout, whether it's um, a running workout, a roller ski workout, a snow ski, biking. Rather than static stretching at the start of a workout, it's best to do dynamic stretching, um, dynamic warm-up, and that's basically movement of the muscles. And so this type of movement before a workout not only warms you up, but it also drives home the concept of balance and range of motion for technique work in skiing. And lastly I'll talk about is dynamic kick or extension. In, in skate skiing um, V1 or V2, kick comes from loading the knee and fully extending it, not just standing on the leg and falling over. So we want it to be dynamic. We want the leg, the shin angle to be forward, um, and that comes from the ankle, slight knee flexion, and you now have a loaded leg ready for full extension and dynamic kick. And kick starts from the hip, knee, and then ankle extension, and even down through the toe. And in classic skiing, 
we again kick from a loaded position. We're gliding and when we come through, it's a quick impulse down. And it again, both of them, it's from the forefoot or ball of the foot that that impulse and dynamic kick comes from. So to summarize, the four basic biomechanical motions in both skate technique and classic technique are, are this. Arm swing, whether it's single arm or double arm. Core activation. In double pull, it's more activation than in single stick. Leg swing is number three. Dynamic, both forward quickly and striding in kick double pull and single stick. And in skating, full range of motion, side to side. And tying that to dynamic kick in skating, it's a full extension. So you load your ankle, you load your knee, and fully extend. And kick in classic is starting with the loaded ankle and loaded knee and a quick impulse down for the kick. If we work on these four biomechanical motions and maintain good body position in all these techniques, Using this in dynamic warm-up, we will drive home what is good, solid, sound technique in Nordic skiing.